on the far side for Het, um, Ayrshire Bulls, who just cut them open. They were very patient. You couldn't say they butchered the first chance, Colin, really, but they did have a man over on the right-hand side and then extended it over to the left. Quite a simple score at the end of the day. Yeah, just going going through the phases, real quality retention of ball, lovely little out, out the back offload, which just... Uh, was 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 created the, the extra man kept the ball alive and it's a, a nice wide pass from Andy Stirrett to his centre partner who kept really good width out on that left hand side and Thomas Glenn Dinnings the, the first scorer of the day but Heriot's made them work for it I mean th there was so, some big defence again for from Heriot's rugby a couple of times you think Ayrshire Bulls are almost getting to the outside but that last Heriot's defender getting a, kind of a ball and all tackle making sure the ball couldn't get to that last Ayrshire attacker but in the end the, the, the power that the, the Bulls had up front a little bit of quality and then they had the, the space and the width out wide and Ross Thompson in blustery conditions from the touchline no mistake well, that's a brilliant kick from out there and is probably who you would call the wrong side, kicking from his left foot, but uh, he made no mistake, so that's a very confident start from Thompson and the perfect start, really, for Ayrshire Bulls, who just on the five-minute mark have taken a seven-point lead. Heriot's Rugby nil, Ayrshire Bulls seven. And the key to that was the possession. No sense of panic when they could have perhaps scored on the right hand side just underneath the cameras and then just switched the ball to the other side for Thomas Glendinning to go over box, box, box. great start Is it? it's the player, reverse player, player. of what uh, yeah. Finn Gillis the Heriot's coach was bemoaning of Heriot's performance last week of failure to convert in the goal zone the top third of the field, there's our Bulls, showed them how to do it there. Here's Thompson again. The two Glasgow Stop, nine, nine, nine. players on the field at the moment, providing plenty of ball. Here he is now. I think that's a victim of the weather. No, he's managed to get that one out. You see there for the indication on the flags, just the strength of the wind, so... Looks like I would see, unless it's swirling a bit, Heriots will have the advantage. There's a James Malcolm, another one of the more experienced players in the Ayrshire Bulls squad. First throw of the day. Same ball! They're on the rumble already. Part of their well rehearsed game plan. Sniping run by Cam Jones. Slightly loose at the back, but tidied up by the hooker, James Malcolm again. Good counter rack by Heriots. Pinning Ayrshire Bulls in their own half for the moment. Chess for me, fellas. They just need to get their hands on the ball for a spell. The Ayrshire Bulls are in no mood to give them that. Thompson stop, switches stop, the attack fight, fight. again off his left foot. Perfectly placed. Well, that's uh, the kind of class you can't really buy at this level, Colin. Have yeah, ju judged to perfection, and it's a, a 50-22 as well. So Ayrshire Bulls get the, the put into this line out. Yeah. Just really just clever him. disguise from Ross Thompson as well. He, he shaped as if he was coming to this open side, to the right-hand side, and then he just turned and, and punched the kick off, off his left foot. But what, what it, it was so well hit that it just stayed low and flat, and so the, the Heriot's backfield cover had no chance to get to it before it bounced into touch. So excellent execution after a, a really sustained, you know, period of possession for, for the Bulls and now they've got more ball in a really promising position so it's a, it's a dominating opening eight and a half minutes from, from the men from here Could be a long afternoon for Heriot's rugby unless they manage to disrupt this steady tide Alex Samuels takes the next charge 
Out to the centres again, and there's again this man over, and he doesn't need it because uh, Kevin, Elias Kevin, has broken through again, and that was a perfectly executed move where they had plenty of runners, they had extra men, and all of a sudden, Air Bulls are on a roll, and unless uh, Heriots can get their hands on the ball, Colin, you can see how simple this was for them, for all that their defence has been good up to a point. Yeah, and on this occasion, it's, it's really good execution from, from the Ayrshire Bulls' backs. The Ross Thompson coming out the, round, round the back on that kind of disguised hidden line, and then the timing of his pass to, to Caven is absolutely spot on. So you see here just that ball there, and then he draws in the the Heriot's defender. He he has to he has to bite in there the the outside centre for Heriot's Kyle Br uh, K uh, sorry Rory Steele, and as a result of that, Elias Caven's got just enough space to to get through the gap. But okay, all came from that 50-22 from Ross Thompson. So rather than having a line out that Heriot's had put into yeah. Ayrshire Bulls complete control of the ball and the territory, and they've made Heriot's pay. And if you were a betting man, Ross Thompson would and has done, in fact, has made them pay even more. Almost a leisurely swing of his left boot there to give them the added two points. Two out of two to Thompson. I dare say it would be tempting fate to say it's no more than we expect, but he looks as if he's in good form. Running freely after his back injury over the summer. So, 10 minutes, 10 and a half minutes in. Heriot's That's rugby nil. That. Ayrshire Bulls 14. And the puzzle for Ayrshire Bulls now is do they just turn the screw? Can I imagine Pat MacArthur doing anything other than demanding more because they're doing everything perfectly well. Hardly made a mistake. I think they've lost one ruck at the moment. That's about it. But everything's going to plan. But the other question for Heriots is what do they do to get Back their mitts on the ball? Fellas. It's very difficult when you haven't got the ball. Thanks, Josh. Just there. Back to James Malcolm again. The usual chit chat. Tonga number eight, Vailano, increasingly <laughs> influential in the game. He seems to be the go-to man for every ball. Stop but this time they have feet. spilled it. Knock on. What, I mean, it's not oversimplifying this, Colin, but what, what do Heriots do to get their hands on the ball? They've got it here, obviously. But, uh, it's very difficult to stem a kind of tidal flow like this. It is, and and you, you have to just back your defence and and make the make the tackles stay on on side, keep discipline, don't give Ayrshire Bulls any easy yards, any easy territory, and and hope you can you can force errors like Ayrshire Bulls have just given. I think the, the offload going going uh, to ground or getting Fine. knocked on, but yeah, when you when you don't have ball, Set. you you don't want to try and force it too much. And the flip side is now that they have ball, basically for the first time. In 12 and a half minutes, it's how do they how do they get through a few phases and get some pressure back on? To, to on, Bob. on this occasion, they've gone okay. for the gone Hostile for the kick, right. thinking a 50-22 is the option, but it's overcooked from yeah, Bruce Houston. So yeah, it's it's line. difficult because when you've not had ball, you think, do you want to keep ball? Start asking a few questions of the the opposition defence, or on that occasion, are you thinking actually there's a chance to get some territory? Let's let's do that, but. If the execution's not right, then well, you've coughed many? up possession and Thank you've you. coughed up territory, and you're back where you were a couple of minutes ago. And, and yeah, the way that the, the Ayrshire too. Bulls have been going, you don't expect them to make all that many errors. So the challenge for Heriot's they well, they did challenge at the line out, but that's a, a lovely floated pass there. But again, another mistake. Now, maybe, just maybe, okay, there's pressure. Thanks, Ross. But again, yeah, kicking knock on by away, they probably realised they had the knock-on coming. But uh, kicking uh, possession away will not get them back in the game. 
Are you heading for the 15 minute mark? Let's go, Nimmo boy. Swim again. And they just have to be patient, Harriets, and try and Boys work themselves I'll back into it. Boys, stay high. McAndrew and Bruce Houston, the captain at fly half, are key here. Crouch! The decision making has to be spot on. You see there Fine. the crowd at the back of the, the post peering Second. into the sun. So that's in Harriet's eyes as well. Clearly a bit of an advantage to the Bulls. Vantage collapsing. Collapse scrum, they have an advantage, a free run here. <coughs> and the referee Finley Brown legal. takes them back. Tight head on his arm, forcing him to the floor. A good chance now for Houston, if he gets this right, to put them into a decent attacking position from the centre of the field. Calvin, all I'm seeing is you shorten your bind into his armpit and you force him to the floor. If you keep it on the body, that picture of the hinge becomes a lot clearer for me. Referee having a chat with Calvin Henderson there about his binding in the front row. Whether he pays any attention or not, we may get Colin to give us a view on that later. <laughs> what can Harriet's make of it? They're up the channel here. Stay in the middle. It's no way very back. Tidy though. Forty steps. Thank you. Wanting some realignment behind them. The Ajar Bulls funneling back. They've got the ground well covered, though. McAndrew again. Bursting through Matt Davidson. <coughs> spilled it, but... Hang on, lads. Mike's here. You've got to release Illegally. Him, and you've got to move. You can't play the ball. So that gives another chance. So this is this is now their best uh, attacking position, and no question in their mind that they need to get points on the board, and something substantial at like that, rather than just take three points from there. Houston might have might have done better with that kick, Colin. Yeah, whether the the wind is a, a factor, he's just uh, obviously made sure rather than going right into the corner but this is exactly the response that that Harriet's needed they needed to get hands on ball get through some phases they're doing it in the in the hey right lads. part of the pitch as well Ayrshire Bulls giving away a penalty there which just allows Harriet's to get more pressure they've been successful throughout the super six with this driving mall especially with one. in that corner of one away one golden away. acre Finn Gillies there, one of their co-coaches, obviously a former hooker, he'll have them well drilled, but good defence from Ayrshire Bulls. Just a slightly high tackle, but the referee lets that one go. It was shoulder height, but it's the danger that it slips upwards. So first sustained no, no, pressure no. from Harriet's. McAndrew took exception to being held in there. Fraser Hasty. And and again, they're just over running and crossing, so they'll be disappointed at that. So the first bit of it, Colin, was okay where they were rumbling along, but as soon as they opened it out, they just maybe need a, view, a bit more composure. Yeah, it's, it's just execution on that occasion because sitting in this seat last week and in almost exactly that position, Harriet scored a try. And it was through Ian Wilson, their their, their open side <laughs> coming around we'll almost behind the the forward uh, the the back, so the backs come as a, a decoy, and then uh, and then Ian Wilson comes around. But on that occasion, there were there were two backs, and it was very, the timing just wasn't quite right. It was clear crossing, getting in the way of Ayrshire Bulls being able to make that tackle on the ball carrier. As we have our little water break which I think Ayrshire Bulls will probably be thinking it's a, a good time for them to have that, just a, a chance to, to regroup. Having started the game, the brighter of the two teams, they've been under a bit of pressure for the, the last five, six minutes or so, although they have repelled that pressure and they've now got a, a penalty on their own line to 
with a chance to, to clear the clear their lines obviously and uh, yeah and then obviously having the, the put into the line out which with with James Malcolm a, a quality operator at, at Hooker as well as Alex Samuels is a been really impressed with him in the second row over the last couple of weeks for, for Ayrshire right, Bulls. Go. They've got good options at the line out so they'll be looking to, to launch an attack again. It's been a fairly decent response from Heriots though. They've managed to claw their way back into it, get some field position, which is good. But as Colin mentioned, the, the execution hasn't been quite there and it's always back to where they were last week. And Finn Gillis was quite critical. Here we are, another break, the Tongan. He's a hot handful and uh, Jack Mann's not quite getting to grips with him at the moment. The two number eights were expected to you know, just a little number nudge. Number two affected the quality of the clear out. Afters there from Lewis McNamara. Took exception to something that was going on in the ground. He just had an extra nudge. So Thompson gets another chance to push the Bulls further forward. And again, keeping his kick relatively low. You see there, the wind now is a different direction on the linesman's flag, so it is swirling around. At least it's dry, that's the main thing. Conditions underfoot are excellent. Well taken. The inevitable surge from Ayrshire Bulls again. They're very, very tight all together. Heriots have turned it, opened it up. Ball's there, fellas. And they've turned it completely. That's good defence. Last foot, last foot, step. The challenge is, can they clear their lines? Taken in by Linus. That excellent hooker. Five, just take a step. Use it! A chance for McAndrew. Touched. Well, it was touched in mid-air, so that's uh, eminently playable by the Bulls, who have men aplenty here again on the left-hand side. So they charge up. Oh, and that's butchered again on the far side. Glendinning, the try scorer, must have thought, here we go again. Can I get you? Yeah, because him and his, his centre yeah. partner, okay, Stewart, and Andy Stewart, did really well when the, the kick, oh, kick went in. They they left the defensive oh, line and, and got that extra width oh, okay. for the for the kick return for the, the Ayrshire Bulls. But then just the accuracy of the handling on that occasion, letting them down. Yeah, sure. Much like the, the accuracy of their maul set up had, had let the forwards down after they'd, they'd got into a good position to, to set that maul. It was going forward, but you saw Heriot's Ian Wilson, that the open side did really well to, to get through the, the, the onto the Ayrshire Bulls side and, and latch onto ball and actually won, won the turnover, which allowed Heriot's to try and clear their lines. Sure. As you could hear from, from the referee, Murdo McAndrew's okay. box kick was, okay, was half go. charged down. It was a, a counter-attack op opportunity for, for Ayrshire Bulls. But just the, whether it's the, the wind behind them now, just the, the ball drifting away from Thomas Glendinning. He was reaching out to get that ball, couldn't quite get a hold of it. And so the, the counter-attack has, has come to nothing. And it's difficult at, in playing into the wind for Heriots to, to clear their lines, whether they, they try and keep ball in hand or Crunch. bring it out to the, the wider channels and then look at a, a kind of grubber, kick, a, a low kick where you're you're taking the wind out Set. of it, you're, you're trying to turn the opposition, just have to be a bit more creative or you just win a penalty at, uh, at scrum time and that uh, helps you Number relieve one. the pressure. Hinge. This time it's Andrew Nimmo who's pinged, so that's both... Uh, Props have erred on the wrong side of uh, Finley Brown's wrath. So uh, he'll be having sterner words, I suspect, as the game goes on, and that's a better kick. I'm just uh, running it up the line. Balls on the line. So there's the combination of the wind and the sun to deal with today. You see the shadows, the extending. Autumnal shadows. Bulls get on the line. Coming 
Good execution from Heriot's rugby this time. <laughs> oh, seatbelt tackle to begin with by this player here. tackle. Just slipping up over the shoulder, the seatbelt belt tackle. So another chance here for Houston seat seven. to get them up the line. I don't think he's going to be kicking for a goal at any point this afternoon from this kind of range with the conditions. It's a good kick, relatively speaking. They're back where they were before, but better angle. Difficult for the throwers today as well. The swirling wind. Vantage in the air the and then across off the, the line is uh, short and sharp, but they have a penalty advantage here for crossing over in the line out. And here they come. They're going to have a free run at this one. Sending out a touch of footwork. Crossing over, but they'll come all the way back. Back to the line out. And in these conditions, Colin, five, very significant, the, the longer the passes are drifting sell. away from all the players. It doesn't matter which way they're going, they're either going too far Number forward five, or, or behind the, the players. Air, playing the man as well. Yeah, and, and that's uh, it's just recognition now of, of the, the backs. How do they adapt that, actually, so that the ball in the air is, is, is going to be difficult. It makes it more of a challenge for uh, for catching, so you yeah, maybe narrow how, how you stand, five, even when you have the, the, the advantage like Heriot's did there. And from a, an Ayrshire Bulls point of view, Pat MacArthur, the coaches, they'll be really annoyed that they've conceded penalty after penalty after penalty. So concede one penalty at scrum 